everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's time to decorate my trees and my dining room again. I'm decorating for the 4th of July. It's right around the corner. It's going to be here any day now. So I wanna show you all the things I got for decorating this room. But before I do that, let's look back on all of the different designs that I have come up with since I started doing this at the beginning of the year. In February was the very first one I did before Valentine's Day, and I've done several since then. Let's check them out. What's going on in here? Hi, buddy. I heard someone making a video. Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by. fun to look back on all of the different designs I've done since the beginning of the year. Since we're about halfway through the year, I thought it was a good idea just to check back and see the different ideas. It's been so much fun and so inexpensive because I've been able to find almost everything at the Dollar Tree. So it's been a lot of fun decorating my trees and my dining room together. Like I said, this is the first year I've done it. So the first half of the year is almost over, especially doing this 4th of July table. Let's get started on these. For my trees, if you watched my last video, I made these blue little cloths to put underneath as a tree skirt. And I used them for my beach theme, but they're gonna work perfectly for my red, white, and blue as well. So I just went ahead and um, shook them out, cleaned them up, and I'm gonna use them again this time. I love all of the 4th of July stuff that I was able to find, and they have so many amazing things out this year. First of all, I have this foam scatter, so I'm gonna use this for a few different things. So stay tuned to see some of the ideas I have with this. There's sparkly stars, red, white, and blue, different sizes, and I have a few different things I'm gonna use those for. I also found these really, really pretty sparkly signs, because um, you know I like to hang signs here in my dining room as well. I found these really cute Mickey and Minnie plates. I don't usually use paper plates, but because I found these this year and they are so cute, I had to have them. So I am going to use them with, I'm gonna put them on top of some real plates that I have, just some um, Disney plates that I already own, as well as a charger. And then I have, I'm gonna use these little silver napkin rings with these red, white, and blue flag napkins. I have these cool little hats I'm gonna use on my tree and maybe on the table. We'll see if I can find a spot for them. I have these really pretty little um, flowers that are red, white, and blue. I got those at the Dollar Tree this year. So I think I'm gonna be able to do some cool stuff with that. I pulled out of my own collection some mason jars, a burlap piece of fabric, and this little doily, a little candle holder. And then I have this really, really cool stuff to decorate the trees with. But it appears that I have someone here who's interested in helping and he may make this a little more difficult than I expected, but he's certainly cute. So let's get started. I'm going to use this candle holder with this white candle for my main centerpiece. But as you can see, usually I have little rocks in the bottom. I'm gonna remove those rocks and instead, I'm gonna use one of my packs of the foam scatter to put around the inside. All right, so that turned out really cute. I'm gonna add this to our table, but first I'm gonna put down some burlap, and then I'm gonna put down a little doily to go underneath our centerpiece. Next, I'm gonna put these really, really cute Mickey and Minnie plates on top of the black plates I just put down. Dun, 
those turned out so cute. Now let's add some napkins and our glasses. I'm going to take, I have a large pack of napkins, so I'm gonna actually take three napkins and roll them up inside one ring, only because it fills them up better and it makes them look a little bit fuller and nicer. I bought this really cool star garland. I'm going to use some of this on the table and some of it in my trees. I'm actually just gonna put some of it, it's wired, so it should be pretty easy to work with around my centerpiece and kind of out the sides. The next thing I'm gonna add to the center of my table are these two mason jars. I'm gonna put my 4th of July flowers in them. As you can see, I added some string, um, just tied a bow around them, just to tie in with the burlap. I'm really happy with how my table turned out. I love how these cute little place settings turned out. As soon as I saw these Mickey and Minnie plates, I thought I just had to have them for this table. I really, really like the centerpiece with the foam stars in the middle around it. I also like this wired star decoration and the mason jars just finish it off perfectly. Now it's time to move on to those bare trees and hang my signs over there. With the remaining foam scatter, I have cut pipe cleaners in half and I'm going to use them to stick into the foam scatter and then the pipe cleaners will twist around branches of the tree to attach for an additional decoration. The last thing I'm gonna to add to my trees are these stars. I'm actually gonna cut them in strips so that I can just put a few of them on all the way down the tree. I'm really happy with how the room turned out. I love the beauty but simplicity of the table. I really, really like these Mickey and Minnie plates, even though they're just paper plates. They really added to my place setting and make a beautiful dining room. One of the things that I do really, really love every time I decorate my trees, if there's a holiday that has the foam scatter, that's what it's called. I love buying those. And especially this month, if you see, oh my gosh, it looks like shooting stars or little fireworks coming off the tree when I add them to a pipe cleaner cut in half. 
and I just think it makes an amazing look to the tree. So I'm really, really happy with that. The little hat on top is a super cute little tree topper. And I also really love these little wired stars. They just add something simple to the tree. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed learning all of the things that I used to put together my 4th of July dining room and trees that I've been decorating all year. These Christmas trees I've left up since Christmas and decorated for every holiday since then. My next project is going to be beautiful 4th of July wreaths for my front door. I'm also gonna be making one for my friend Heather. I got all of the stuff together. I want to thank my little friend uh, Oliver here who was so helpful while I was decorating my trees and my table. He just likes to be here to help me out, of course. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Keep an eye out for my wreath video that's gonna be coming up soon. I also have a couple of little decorations for my porch that are gonna go along with my wreath. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.